Franklin Meyer is a professor of environmental and occupational health service sciences at Hunter College in New York. For over 27 years, he, had, he was the director of the health and safety department at the United Auto Workers. Dr. Meyer received his bachelor's degree from Columbia and his master's and PhD from Harvard University. I'm Frank Myler, a professor of uh, environment, now professor of environmental occupational health at Hunter College of the City University of New York. Previously, I spent 30 years in the trenches of OSHA standard setting, some with uh, Mr. Fellner on the other side of the table, uh, as among the parties uh, convened by uh, the late Representative Norwood to talk about updating the Pells. And I, too, have negotiated uh, settlements in post-standards litigation. My academic project now is analyzing the regulatory process so that policymakers and Congress can implement standard setting and change the process based on sound science and uh, objective data. My key points today are that first, uh, new updated 21st century OSHA standards are necessary to protect workers to keep from repeating the story that uh, Mr. Peoples has told over again. OSHA standard setting is ground to halt in the current administration. Uh, for chemical exposures, there are many examples of OSHA standards which allow exposures so high that the workers get sick uh, and many chemicals that aren't regulated at all. It's true that many obstacles to new OSHA standards have been imposed by executive orders, Congress, and the courts. But the fact is OSHA has the scientific backing and the resources to set many new standards if the staff were allowed to go forward with the process. Now, it's clear that OSHA since 2001 has checked out of the standards business. A slow progress has ground to a halt. The uh, 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 Postal Protective Equipment Standard, which uh, Mr. Falk mentioned, was uh, the, the date was announced settling a lawsuit. Um, uh, more than a year ago, uh, the group of workers, a group of unions petitioned OSHA seeking an emergency standard to protect health care healthcare workers from pandemic flu and also other respiratory disease. This is essential to uh, public health protection. It was denied. A union petitioned to expand process safety management standard to workplaces with reactive chemicals that could explode was denied. Uh, a union petition for uh, a standard on diacetyl is lying fallow. Uh, it's, the administration removed about two dozen items from the long-standing regulatory agenda, including metalworking fluids that I'll talk about later if there's time. Uh, the standards reported uh, um, uh, by Mr. Folk, some of them were takeaways, like the rules for respirators. And uh, most importantly, one of those changes was a change in the rules for recording workplace injuries, which permits employers not to report and record injuries that they previously had to, and is directly responsible for at least some, if not all, of the reduction in injury rates reported by uh, uh, by Mr. Folk and Mr. Fellner. In fact, some of the other reductions were the implementation of the elements of the ergonomic standard that also caused that reduction. Now, let me bring you something new. Um, that's all old stuff. I'm now teaching graduate students in industrial hygiene. In my toxicology class, first we look at scientific data on health effects, then we talk about exposure limits. And my students asked me why California limits occupational exposure to carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide, one of the oldest chemicals that we know about, the half of what OSHA allows, why a dry cleaning chemical, perchloroethylene, is limited to a quarter of what OSHA allows, or why a, a certain solvent found in inks, California limits to one fortieth of what OSHA allows. Uh, one of these is a carcinogen, one of birth uh, causes uh, uh, ab uh, reproductive abnormalities. Each of these was on uh, OSHA's list for rulemaking. Each was removed by the administration. In my longer testimony, I describe an experience at a machining plant in, uh, in uh, Ohio where workers suffered as bad similar adverse effects 
uh, respiratory effects. Um, in my testimony, we describe how an OSHA inspection in the middle of this outbreak found no problems because the plant was in compliance with the, with the OSHA standard. Um, our petition for uh, a new standard was denied. Um, our court suit to try and get the standard moving again was unsuccessful. And so workers remain at risk for this. Uh, I think what we need most importantly and most quickly from this committee is, at least for the meager remnants on OSHA's regulatory agenda, that the Congress get these things moving forward and in particular get the silica standard moving forward again. It's been too long. It causes illnesses just like you've heard about today. Thank you very much.